Now to the sad news that former Newcastle and West Ham manager Glenn Rhoda has died at the age of 65 after a long battle with a brain tumour. Rhoda spent two years in charge of West Ham between 2001 and 2003 and also managed Gillingham, Watford, Newcastle and Norwich. He also served as a coach under Glenn Hoddle for the England national team. As a player, he made 193 league appearances for Newcastle and played 157 times for Queen's Park Rangers. He leaves behind a wife and three children. Well, in April 2003, Rhoda suffered a brain tumour while he was manager at West Ham and was replaced by Trevor Brooking for the final three games of the season. He made a recovery and returned to work in July 2003 after West Ham had been relegated. Most of their star players, including Joe Cole, Frederick Canute and Trevor Sinclair, had left the club and Rhoda was sacked the following month. Sad news this evening was announced by the League Managers Association, whose chairman, Howard Wilkinson, said this. A cultured defender as a player, he managed with a studious style and was always generous with his time and ideas. Glenn was such an unassuming, kind gentleman who demonstrated lifelong dedication to the game. Not one to court headlines, his commitment and application to his work at all levels warrants special mention. Football has lost a great servant today. And our sincere condolences go to Glenn's family and friends. Lee Clark played under Glenn Roder at Newcastle and was on the coaching staff with him at Norwich. He told us that he helped many youngsters develop, including Paul Gascoigne. I knew he'd been poorly for a while, um, but uh, you know, I'd, I'd been in touch with him via text over various different things, always about football, you know, and spoke about the families, but uh, it's been this massive shock to get this news today. The thoughts of Glenn as a great personality, great football person, had a strong relationship with him and he was just a great man. He had lots of people, you know, had great things to say about him. He loved his football. He's an unbelievable servant in Newcastle United in various different positions. And, uh, it's an extremely sad day. He's well known up in Newcastle for Again, the Glen Road, I shuffle, as it was called, which was the step over the ball and to go past the, an attacker and to start attacks for the team. And, yeah, he enjoyed being on the ball. He, and he was part of the, the great team of the early 80s under, with Kevin Keegan and Terry McDermott, Peter Biazzi, Chris Waddle. And then he was a, obviously a strong person and mentor for a young Paul Gascoigne coming through as well. As we heard there, Glenn Rhoda was captain at Newcastle United when Paul Gascoigne broke into the first team and Gascoigne has paid a warm tribute this evening. When I moved to London, he drove me down there and parked up outside this huge house. It was a famous footballer's house. He said to me, look at that, this is what you are playing for. He was the best captain I played for, the most honest, and he would put everybody before himself, making sure everybody was ready for the game before worrying about himself. He only got angry with me once. That was because I put the whistle off the kettle on his exhaust pipe and it cost him £360 to have the car checked out. Glenn was one of football's gentlemen and he will be sorely missed by his lovely family, his friends and the whole of football. Newcastle tweeted their condolences saying, we are deeply saddened to learn of the passing of our former player and manager, Glenn Roder, at the age of 65. The thoughts of everybody at NUFC are with his family and friends. Rest in peace, Glenn. Don Hutchinson, who played under Roder at West Ham, shared this memory. I'll never ever forget when my dad was passing away. The gaffer told me to get in my car to Newcastle and go see him quick. Glenn was on the phone with me for all five hours of my journey. Sleep well, Gaffer. My thoughts are with his family. And Chris Kamara gave an idea of what it was like to play against Rhoda. Rest in peace, Glenn Rhoda, superb player and had a fab career in the game. Top bloke he was as well. At 65, taken too early, can picture him on the ball now. We all knew he would do the step over, but everyone fell for it. Glenn Rhoda, who has died at the age of 65.